Hey, what's up everybody, this is Ray. If you're brand new to Swift or iOS development and you're wondering where to get started, this is the course to start with. In this course, you'll learn how to create your very first iPhone app, a simple but fun game called Bullseye. We'll teach you everything you need to learn along the way, even if you're a complete beginner to Swift and iOS development, or even if you're a complete beginner to programming in general. There's just one requirement for this course, and that's to have Xcode 9 installed. It's really simple. Just go to the Mac App Store, download Xcode 9, and you're all set. And don't worry, it's a free download. In this first section of the course, we'll begin by taking a look at the game we're trying to make, and we'll write ourselves a to-do list of everything we need to do to build a game, just like you would in the real world if you were making your own app. Then we'll create a brand new project in Xcode so you can see yourself building the entire thing from scratch. We'll start really simple, and we'll just add a button to the screen that you can tap to present an alert pop-up to the user. One of the biggest pitfalls when you're first learning iOS development is understanding what to do when things go wrong. So we'll spend a little bit of time going over some beginner mistakes and how to solve them. We'll then learn a little bit about how iOS apps work under the hood, including how to make your app work in both portrait and landscape orientation. Finally, you'll get some practice working with basic controls in iOS by setting up the basic layout for your game. This course, just like every course on RayWenderlich.com, is oriented around hands-on tutorials, where you follow along with me or other instructors step by step. It's very important that you just don't watch the exercises, but that you actually follow along. So open up Xcode, type with me, pause the video if you need to, and run the app in the simulator. This will really help you understand how the app gets built step by step. In addition, this course contains a lot of hands-on challenges where we get to practice what you learned on your own. It's in your best interest to actually pause the video when you're prompted and try solving the challenges on your own. You'll learn a ton by doing this. After all, there's a big difference between knowing the path and walking the path. And the only way to learn programming is to do it on your own. It's my sincere belief that by following along with this course and some of the other courses on our site, you can go from complete newbie to a professional iOS developer, but you do have to put in the time and effort. By making these courses, we've done our part, so the rest is up to you. One final note, this course is based on the first section of our best-selling book, The iOS Apprentice, which was written by tutorial team members Matthias Hollemans and Fahim Farouk. So if you like this course, be sure to send them an email or a tweet thanking them for their great work, and you might want to consider picking up their book if you want it as a handy reference. Okay, let's begin our iOS adventure by taking a look at the very first game we're going to build, Bullseye. 